The Indian Space Program has been reaping successes in series. The success story belongs to the brilliant human resources of the space community in India. Built on the legacy of some of the best brains in recent times, they built marvels of technology. They forged an enviable space program. They nurtured an exemplary work culture and vigorously pursued to reach the unreached. These self-reliant, elite and respected space professionals need successors and thus was born the cradle for the bright sparks who will carry the baton for the Indian space program. Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, IIST for short, is thus the fulfillment of another dream. This is where the future stars are being born. It is an institution with a difference, a deemed university set up under the Department of Space. Inaugurated on September 14, 2007 by Dr. G. Madhavan Nair, Chairman ISRO, IIST is becoming the final destination for many brilliant young men and women. Housed in an alternate campus now, the institute is all set to create its full-fledged infrastructure and develop an unparalleled research atmosphere. The IIST is built on the excellent technology base of the mother center of the Indian Space Program. The batch of 138 students from various parts of the country has the honor of being the first batch. Conceived by distinguished and accomplished men, meticulously implemented, every dimension of the institute has a class of its own. The institute offers bachelor's degrees in space technology with specialization in avionics and aerospace engineering and an integrated master's program in applied sciences with special emphasis on space related subjects such as launch vehicles, satellites, space applications and space sciences. At IIST, its students will have privileged access to some of the most advanced facilities of ISRO and one of the best technical libraries in the country. The curriculum is developed keeping in mind the high technology requirements of ISRO. Students are tutored and trained by the best faculty drawn from some of the best national institutes who teach, train and mentor them affectionately to be cast into the mold of top professionals for the future of the Indian space program which has a rich legacy of dreamers and visionaries who have put India into the three nation club in space. Exposing them to the tedium of scholarship, the trauma of self-learning, hand-holding whenever in distress, training them to face future challenges. It is at their playtime that they build the future teams. They enjoy the glory of winning in quizzes, the charm of networking with the world at the state-of-the-art computer facility, sharpen their soft skills at debates and games, imbibe the cultural heritage through festivities. They integrate into one and diverge into many at the same time. Here, the students are treated with great care and affection. Housed elegantly in best-of-the-class premises, their every meal is fed with care and love, even mothers will envy. The leader never waits for things to be built. He utilizes the best of the available. 
IIST has found the best places for practical training of its students. College of Engineering Trivandrum, the icon of engineering education in the country, greets them with doors open every day. And in science, what better place is there than the renowned Marivanius College where the fundamentals are the primary. Association is what makes one grow. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam comes to shake hands with them, to interact with them, to tell them the wonderful yesteryears. Professor Narsimha spends a day with them. Rakesh Sharma tells them the wonders of space travel. Who else in their teens has the excitement of rubbing shoulders with such luminaries? Chairman Isro becomes one among them. No wonder the next generation will be imbibing qualities of great men. One of the topmost technocrats in space technology, Dr. B. N. Suresh perhaps had no time for small things except when he chose to lead the institute. They painted him green and red, made him their playmate, but he chooses to keep their focus, a leader the students will emulate in their future roles. This hard terrain of scholarship has been made softer for the boys and girls. They are paid a studentship with which they can pay even for their board and hostel. Once selected, they are a privileged group in many respects. They are virtually placed for a challenging profession in ISRO on the very first day. If they get trained in a fighting mode where the whole world of technology challenges is before them. This is a world-class institute, the third in the world, specialized to extend to the future. Frontiers in space science and technology in the country brew here. People of Acumen lead the institute with the Secretary Department of Space as its chairman. The academic community looks up to the eminent deans like Dr. R. Krishnan and Dr. V. Adimurti who have set their own benchmarks in academics. For the institute, the first fruits are sweet. The brilliant performance of the first year is a highlight of its academic excellence. They have also spread wings in the creative world, which is vividly seen in their house journal Trishtikon. This world-class institute will open its doors for higher studies and research as it grows. They can mine gold in other avenues for higher education as well. The institute belongs to the bright sparks, the sparks to reach for Mars and stars and to sparkle the lives of every Indian.